relation between beta and gamma function okay now you show that beta of m n is equal to gamma m into gamma n divided by gamma m plus n now solution and this is very simple so we have by definition using definition okay so we have definition of beta and gamma function now take beta and gamma function definitions function okay functions now beta mn is equal to beta of mn is equal to this is the definition 2 into integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 2m minus 1 theta into cos is to 2n minus 1 theta d theta you call this is equation number 1 okay now gamma n is equal to gamma n is a 2 into integration of 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square into x is to 2n minus 1 with respect to x and this is equation number 2 okay and gamma m is equal to this is gamma n and this is gamma m 2 into integration of same but change the variable x to y 2 into integration of 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square y is to 2m minus 1 with respect to y now this is called equation number 3 okay and very simple just to take gamma m plus n gamma m plus n means 2 into integration of 0 to infinity e to the power minus r square and r is to 2 into m plus n minus 1 dr now this is equation number 4 ok now so one more gamma m into gamma n gamma m into n is a 2 into 2 is a 4 integration of 0 to infinity integration of 0 to infinity e to the power same minus of x square plus y square and x is to 2n minus 1 y is to 2m minus 1 and dx dy this is called equation number 5 ok now now we take equation number 5 take only right hand side only right hand side equation number 5 right hand side changing into this is very simple changing into polar form ok changing into polars only right hand side change into polar form now take put x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta squaring and adding these two we have left hand squaring means x square plus y square add it x square plus y square and right hand side is r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta and r square is a common inside is cos square theta plus sin square theta is a 1 only r square is remaining ok and also dx dy is a you take r into dr d theta ok now 0 to infinity 0 to infinity with respect to x with respect to y means this is the first quadrant now r varies from 0 to infinity and theta varies from theta first quadrant means theta varies from 0 to 90 degree 0 to 90 degree means pi by 2 ok this is the first quadrant now equation number 5 uh, equation number 5 becomes now gamma m into gamma n is equal to 4 into integration of so one integration with respect to x one is a with respect to y x is equal to 0 to infinity y is equal to 0 to infinity now changing into polar form r is equal to 0 to infinity this is the first quadrant now theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 both are first quadrant means 0 to r, r is a 0 to infinity theta is a 0 to 90 degree ok now e raise to minus of x square plus y square x square plus y square is a r square e raise to minus r square ok 
Now put x is equal to r cos theta means r cos theta whole dash to 2n minus 1 and y means r sin theta uh, whole dash to 2m minus 1 dx dr means r into dr d theta okay and this is equal to 4 into integration of r is equal to 0 to infinity and theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 e raise to minus r square is as it is now r is to 2n minus 1 r is to 2m minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and this r is a 1 1 r is a cancel only remaining minus 1 means r is to 2m this one plus 2n this one minus 2 and plus 1 is minus 1 okay and the remaining we arrange it sin is to 2m minus 1 theta cos is to 2n minus 1 theta first is a with respect to theta means d theta and this is a dr okay now separate the integration with respect to r with respect to theta you separate it to integration of r is 0 to infinity with respect to r means e raise to minus r square and r is to 2 is a common this is 2 is common m plus n minus 1 when with respect to r okay this is fun into again 4 is there again one more 2 integration of theta is a 0 to pi by 2 take with respect to theta sin is to 2m minus 1 theta cos is to 2n minus 1 theta d theta with respect to theta okay now therefore gamma m into gamma n is equal to now this part is equation number 4 okay means gamma of m plus n into and this integral part is a equation number 1 okay this is a beta of beta of m n now therefore beta m n is equal to this is cross multiply gamma m into gamma n divided by gamma m plus n this is a important uh, relation between the beta and gamma function very very important 